Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. Welcome to our Word of the Day series where each day we take a new word and break down the pronunciation for you to help you say it smoothly and easily in American English. We always look at accent error patterns you might have on the words, similar words, and resources you can use to improve overall. Today's word was a request from one of our Facebook fans, and she had several words that she requested. We're going to start with the first one, which is the word exhilarating. And I think it's a great word to take a look at because it has a number of different patterns, including uh, a, some letters, uh, some spelling that doesn't necessarily match the sounds. So oftentimes words are difficult because of the sounds in the words, uh, how they relate to your native language, whether or not they're challenging sounds. And then also sometimes it's because the longer words uh, in the spelling, longer and shorter words, the, the spelling letters um, don't always follow rules and can be challenging. So let's take a look. In the word exhilarate, exhilarating, I would say one of the challenges right off the bat is the letters EX. So I do have a video and a lesson on speechmodification.com for you about the different things that the letters EX can say. In this word, the letters EX are unstressed and short. And oftentimes when that's the case, they will say the sounds I, G, and Z instead of, so sometimes in words like uh, execute um, or um, exit, exit's a G, um, excite, excite, we have a an E eh sound like red tent or an I eh sound and we can also have voiceless sounds like excite. In this word, it's a voice sound like g, g, and we have second syllable stress. So you can see that's marked in the dictionary with this little diacritic, a little line before the stress syllable. So that syllable, z, uh, zil, exil, the zil is long, exhilarating, exhilarating. And so the first sound sounds like the i vowel. That's the same vowel is in words like did, different. And often in unstressed syllables, the letter E is going to say the sound I. And so we think we might have to say something more like an E in this word. So if we think about it, it sounds like ig. Then I want to make sure I have my voiced Z sound, exil. There's my I sound again. So I'm going to write that like this, zil. And that would follow the spelling rules, exil. And then my A's say two different things. They're both short. These are all unstressed syllables. But this first one has the uh sound. It's a letter, it's a vowel schwa. And this is often a common sound in English in unstressed syllables. Sounds like uh. So exilla. Then I have my American R. And this A says the, says the A, the clear A vowel. So I'm going to think about it as a ray, um, and I want to just make sure I hold that long. One of the errors that is common for non-native speakers on the vowel A is to hold to just do this part of the vowel, the A part. And in American English, it's a diphthong. It glides from A to I. M mainly, if I think about holding it longer, staying tense on it, A, and then closing and relaxing a little bit, I'll say it correctly. Many of you would say that correctly in a word like ray because it doesn't have anything after it. In a word like rate, you might say it more like ret. That doesn't have enough length and it's a slightly different vowel. So thinking about it as ray, exhilarate. Then the T in exhilarating is a flap T. It comes between two vowels and it doesn't start a stressed syllable. I just think about it as a light, easy D. You can get a lot of help for flap T in many of my word of the day videos, as well as my videos about American T. Check those out on speechmodification.com or here on the channel. For now, just think about it as being a light D sound. Then I have another of my vowel I sounds. And then the NG sound is typically something that will have certain error patterns. One error pattern is that people will say N instead of NG, like they might say, Working instead of working. That's just which part of your tongue is lifting. So working, the back of my tongue needs to lift. Working, 
isn't the N sound, the front of my tongue needs to lift. So we want the NG sound, which the symbol is like this. And what we don't want is a K or a G sound after. I don't want exhilarating or exhilarating. And what to in order to get that just that NG sound, I have to turn off my voice before my tongue drops. So exhilarating, my tongue lifts, my voice stops, and then I have no little k or g sound after. All right, a lot of different accent challenges in this word. You might want to build it from the stress syllable, zil, exil, exhilarating. You might also want to take it slowly, syllable by syllable, and then speed up. For example, ig, zil, a, re, ding, exhilarating, exhilarating. Once I can say the word exhilarating by itself, I want to begin trying to use it in some short phrases so that it comes more easily to me when I'm trying to use it when I'm speaking. Um, it was an exhilarating ride. Um, the high winds and strong rain was very exhilarating. Um, riding on a roller coaster is exhilarating for a lot of people and terrifying for others. Okay, I hope that helped you with the word exhilarating. If you have a word you would like help with, please feel free to put that in the comments for this video or any of my videos on YouTube or on Facebook. I do have a long list of new videos to make for you for Word of the Day, and I've been really happy to get all your requests, comments, and questions. If you're watching this as a replay, please feel free to leave your questions and comments and requests as well. I do go back and answer those send you links for where you can find answers to your questions in our free lessons on the website and in our videos on YouTube. And I really appreciate everyone, uh, all that you have suggested. The ideas and suggestions you make help me know what videos to make next and what questions you have as well as other people. Um, thank you, I have a compliment on my hair today. It's, uh, <laughs> um, you know, in the times of um, staying at home, we are um, having to make do with not going to get the hair cut, uh, just cutting it ourselves or styling it ourselves. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow with the next Word of the Day video and on Friday with our question and answer class. I hope to see you in either or both of those classes. Thanks so much. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound American, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.